Welcome back. So I've shown you photos and pictures of all different aspects of the PC, except for Hank Greenberg. Gotten quite a few over the last two, three weeks. Um, so let me just start with um, some smaller things, which is a mix. Um, so you have Moberg in this Minneapolis baseball club photo. Um, and he'd be all the way up here. I don't know if that helps or not. Smaller photos are a little difficult. Um, nice cutout of Al Rosen. Double A leading batter from Oklahoma City. Detroit Tigers. There's Hank right up there. Mid thirties. And uh, Washington Senators. And there's also going to be Berg in this photo. I believe that's 33. And then you have the 40 Tigers. The Greenberg right up here. Louisiana Slugger. Add them back. Then you have a nice, another nice Tigers. One pager. Again, some of these are, if they're cheap, I'll you know, take the clippings from books and put them in a nice binder. Not hole punch them, but I have sleeves. Um, so those are the ones that are cut. These are not cut. Supplement to the Detroit Sunday Times. A large piece. Like back, this one was folded in half. This one is nice and clean. These are 1939, 1940. So, nice to pick up two of those. One cheap. Nice little supplements. Period supplements. Now we'll get into some photos. And when I say some photos, Idea of what I'm looking at here. There's a stack there, and a stack here. So, starting off with some reprints, and some Tiger Stars there. Nice Greenberg, New York. Some of these are just get me, I can't remember. They just put so much stuff in some of these. There's so many backers and everything. So I have to check. And this is just a fun photo to have with Ruth and, and Greenberg. Be nice to have the original, but not counting on that one any day soon. There's a nice follow through. Those are the reprints. Now we're getting to wire photos and the like. Starting off the 1984 American League All-Star Team. Now some of you, I know personally, will enjoy this particular photo because of that man right there, Donnie Baseball. But for me, the honorary captain is Hank Greenberg right there. So that's going to stay in the Greenberg PC. Next photo, from 1961, the executive years. And then this one is from, it's 
sporting news photo from about 1950. Trying to get a lot of the photo in the frame. Have limited desk space to work with though. This is a great photo just because it's of the time when he was uh, in the military or going into the military. Central Press Association, May 19th, 1941. military photo I think and this is actually pretty early on this is May 26th 1936 AP photo heading down to Florida for spring training much later on in his career August of 46 Also an AP photo. And then this one is from October of 1955, April 55. <laughs> Actually, an Indian uniform, which is weird to say. 1950. So executive photos are obviously going to be more common um, and a lot cheaper. Not AP from 52, or no, 1946. Sometimes you just gotta love the notes on the back, too. And this is a particularly fun one, because two Hall of Famers in one photo. It's an AP photo, 1951. And that's uh, Bob Feller and Hank Greenberg. This one, a little smudged, 53 I believe, no 55, Kiner, Greenberg, and this photo is from 48, just immediately following his playing days. Six. Hall of Fame year. Nineteen fifty nine. Again, yeah, just some of these, some of the markings and the storylines. Even here, the titles, everything. It's quite fascinating. Acme News Pictures. So this would be 1949. I believe Hank was VP at that point. The 
December 55. That's photoshopping back in the day. These are basically file photos from a lot of the newspapers. A lot of these have been scanned, they digitized everything because that's what they need them for. Proper news, sporting news, okay. Number 51. 57. Maybe reading that incorrectly. Joe Cronin and Hank Greenberg. This is, you know, fun because it's when they were announced as Hall of Fame inductees. Um, January of 1956. There's Sergeant Greenberg. press folder uh, photo walking around with Miss America of 1939 I'm sorry it was just I misread that um, a woman from Detroit yes, 1940 and then I have two more photos these are going to be a little bit more difficult to pull out because they were sent to me in the original mailing tubes. So they're very delicate photos, let's just put it that way. to pull these out and I didn't want to do so beforehand because I just don't want them laying around. sent out to the newspaper outlets and for that one the army used these so dispatch photo news service Bethlehem PA and these tubes were three cents to mail back in the early 40s These are, you know, these are truly the, this is really before the wires get them. Um, it's difficult to get these out of the tubes. I'll have to keep them out of the tubes just to keep them from getting all mucked up. And this is a photo. Coming out of the 
dug out for the last time. Let's see, there is damage to the photo, but they've been stuck in tubes for a long time. And even those tubes are just starting to disintegrate. So that's the massive pile, or at least what I call a massive pile, of photos. And I'll put these all into a nice three ring, plastic sleeves, everything. These larger photos, I'll have to figure out how to, the proper way to present them. Um, just because they are the, truly the original sent out by the um, press wing of the U.S. Army. So, that's what I got for you this time around. Interesting little collection, I think. And I hope that you agree. And until next time. Please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. It's a tremendous hobby and a fantastic community. So find your way of participating, whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your peace you'll grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So find your way of being active, because it has been a absolutely tremendous experience for me, overall and especially during this time when we're all trying to just find people to talk with, trying to find ways to escape, and trying to find enjoyment in every single aspect of life. So I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.